This is good pudding. Anyway, I know everybody out there thinks I'm upset. I'm sweating fucking um, Richardson and he's renting space in my mind. And Hey man, the truth of the matter is Richardson is a backwood hillbilly piece of shit of a fucking human being. And I gave this motherfucker a chance to build his show. Because right now, I just got a new name for myself and it's called High Ratings Joe. Because everything I touch turns to magic. Because I am the right man for the right job at this particular time. Why, you ask? Because society is fucked up today. And it's going to take a guy like me, Crazy Joe, the savior also of real rock and roll music, to right the wrongs of our fucked up society today. Mmm, <sighs> delicious. So, okay, real briefly, in case anybody out there doesn't know what I'm talking about with this Charles Richardson and this ratso, fatso, Matt Covington, to make it short, uh, I was on face crap one day and I was just looking around all the ads, you know, on my page. And, you know, it's interesting. And then what happened was I saw this guy broadcast named Matt Covington out of WMNH Radio in downtown Manchester, New Hampshire. So I called up his show and I go, oh, what's up? You know, so I introduced myself and, you know, started a little slowly, but but I just got right into it. I said, Matt, I'm Crazy Joe. I'm from New York, and I'm, I'm the fucking real deal. So he was fascinated by me, just like Richards is. And basically, I struck up a relationship with this guy. He had a regular radio show from 4 to 6 in the afternoon. The most, you know, whatever. Really boring. Anyway, and then uh, how I met Richardson was because I had a confrontation with Ratso Fatso, Matt Covington, I call him, and he wouldn't help me upload a file. Uh, he just didn't want to be bothered with me, and he was live on the air, which I didn't know, but that doesn't matter. He could have said to me, Joe, I'll make an appointment with you tomorrow or the next day, and we'll get this done, and then I would have left it alone. Well, I dealt with this guy six months earlier, when I was on his show and people were taking shots at me because I'm from New York. And I said to Matt, hey, what's the matter? You can't control your fucking show, you little bitch. And I said, fuck you. And then I just, you know. And then he started coming on my page, him and his girlfriend. I didn't really invite them. But I had a page on Face Crap called the Crazy Joe Show page and the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles. So I started talking shit about fucking cunts and women and fags and... You know, just all kinds of people that I'm, I'm not really too into these days. These days. But you guys wouldn't understand that because you're a bunch of fucking video game players. Anyway, and skateboard player thing. So then, um, uh, you know, Jenny didn't like my content. Who's his girlfriend? She probably told him, look, don't work with this guy. Then when I called into the show, he wasn't giving me, you know, enough, like, airtime. He was cutting me off. I ignored it. Said, okay, maybe whatever's happening. And then I just basically uh, figured out that he wasn't going to help me. And I told him, go fuck his mother. You know what I mean? What, I mean, what do you expect me to do? So, and then all of a sudden, uh, Matthew Ratso starts making phone calls to everybody. Getting everybody, like he recruited the Marines, the Coast Guard, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, the Merchant Marine. Because Ratso Fatso is a pussy. And, you know, he can't fight his own battles. He's got to incorporate other people to fight his fucking battles for him. So automatically, I don't respect anyone like that. And he's probably, also he's a kid. I mean, to me, you know, I'm old enough to be his father. And he's a fucking asshole. He doesn't know shit about life. Doesn't know shit about New York City. And, you know, um... New Hampshire, or uh, Mighty Whitey New Hampshire, that doesn't know anything about the black experience. Because I said a few things about rap music, I said a few things about the Chocolatos out there. And then he started saying, I'm a racist, and I'm this, and I'm that. And uh, then this other jerk-off, arrogant, faggot cocksucker started joining in on the fracas. 
and put my head from my social media page on the thumbnail on the body of a Ku Klux Klan, which actually, it's not the regular one with the white robes, it's the one with the dark robes. But I can assure you that I am no Ku Klux Klan. Ask the FBI, ask anybody, you know, I'm not going to say my name, but I'm Joe and, you know, fuck it. They'll say, no, you got the wrong guy here. But that's definition of character. That is a uh, potential lawsuit right there. And I'm going to investigate it to to sue the shit or report this motherfucker. Arrogant, douchebag, dickwad. He sits there with his boyfriends on fucking video vaping like the fucking little cocksucker weasel that he is. So this brings in Charles. Charles made a video. He threatened me. He never apologized. Okay, now he wants me to fucking apologize to his fucking bitch wife who's nothing but a big mouth, fucking ugly, fucking white trash trailer park shit who got involved in the program that Charles was doing. He was doing a show that night. He invited me to be his co-host. And then he had all these people come on purpose to stack the deck against me, to set me up. And I thought, you know, everything was cool between us, but obviously it wasn't cool. So, uh, you know, I was cursing out the people that, you know, were Ratso's friends, his friends. I mean, the guys totally set me up. And here I thought, I mean, I wanted it. I'm going to admit it. I wanted blood. But uh, the DAC was fully stacked against me. And like I said, the jerk-off never apologized for making a threatening video. So, you can, you, hey, Charles, go fuck yourself. All right? It'd be a cold fucking day I apologize to your fucking winchy fucking, fucking bitch-ass wife. No fucking way. And then uh, during the show, where he had me by the collar, he was, re you know, not really, but that's what this other guy said. I don't know why he said it. And they're supposed to be friends, and he's got a rival radio show. And he told me, oh, I want to debate you. His name is Billy Plop. Oh, I want to debate you. And he's a fucking backward hillbilly scumbag from out in the West Coast somewhere. Oh, I want to debate you and everything like that. Blah, 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 blah. And um, telling me that, that Charles had me on a uh, leash. And I think he did. I think he did. But that's not neither here nor there. But if he expects me to apologize to his fucking bitch wife, it'll be a cold day in hell. It'll never fucking happen. So he just wrote to me right now, like a little fucking piece of shit punk fag that he is. Ooh, uh, I'm going to unsubscribe from your show, Joe. Uh, here's the deal, Joe. You don't apologize to my wife. I'm going to... You're not welcome. And I had the show for six years and I did very well without you. Listen, let me explain something in part two of this video. I'm going to tell you what a stupid, dumb, fucking backward, jerk-off, douchebag, white trash hillbilly he really is.